Good day, my name is Marcus T. Anthony and I'm a futurist and I'm a futurist who's particularly interested in the, the futures of mind and intelligence. And uh, one aspect of that is the, uh, the intuitive intelligence that, that we all have. Most people realize that they have an intuitive intelligence but they don't necessarily know how to use it or how to apply it. So I'm going to teach you um, a particular way of using intuition today. One that you can use in your own life. And this is a particularly a powerful way of, of reinforcing the intuitive intelligence in your body because it requires you to listen or, or to um, take note of your, your, your guidance or your intuition and then apply it and use it. When you use it, that's when you'll get the best results. That's when you'll start to really be able to uh, get a hold of this natural intelligence and develop it. So the, the particular process I'm going to show, show you today is called the wisdom cycle. The wisdom cycle. Now I call it the wisdom cycle it's because as you use it, your natural intuition uh, develops and that includes being able to align your life with your spiritual guidance. Or the, and if, you, if you're not particularly spiritually minded, you might like to think of it as your deeper knowing or deeper psyche. I, I definitely think of it as a spiritual thing though. So, what is the first step in this process? Well, the first thing is to ask a question that's really important to you. And up here we can see the question, or we can see the symbol for a question. And uh, then we, what we need to do is check the energy. Check the energy. So how do we do that? Well, there's a number of ways you can do it. You can either listen to your feelings. This is what I call the feeling sense, where you go into yourself and you listen carefully to your intuitive voice, voices or, or, or your uh, in the images that come into your mind, things that you hear, words, songs, things, things like that. You can use a light trance state. Um, when you wake up in the morning, when you're in the hypnagogic state, okay, you can also apply this system. Because when you wake up, you'll often see things and hear things in your mind, in your deep mind, that you, that you won't when you're in a normal waking state of consciousness. Now today I'm going to use something called the quick check. And this is a really powerful tool. It's very simple. If you develop it, it takes time, by the way, it can be really useful. So pay attention. This was taught to me by my spiritual teachers a long time ago. And not many people know about it, but it's really powerful. So I'm going to use this to check the energy on a decision that's coming up for me. Whether to go to Singapore to teach um, a workshop and uh, do some counseling based on my particular uh, interest and in, in, uh, the spiritual process that I use. Okay, so the question I'm going to ask is, um, is there energy on my going to Singapore to do these workshops and to do this teaching? So the quick check goes like this. I'm going to do it right in the middle of the, middle of the wisdom cycle here. Okay? You draw a line across a page uh, or a whiteboard or anywhere else you can think of. And this far side here on the left hand side is going to represent 0% energy. This means there's not much point in doing this thing. In the middle, about 50%, and right at the, right at the end, 100% energy. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is run my finger across the line, and I'm going to get a, a feeling in my hand, okay, um, after I ask the question. And where it stops, uh, that's where the energy reading is. This takes a bit of practice, and uh, uh, perhaps it's true that you really require a teacher to help you with this, but you can still practice. Maybe you'll get the hang of it. Okay. You can also read my book, uh, Sage of Synchronicity, which outlines this process in more details. So, is there energy on my going to Singapore to teach this, this workshop? Let's see what I get. Okay. Uh, I'm getting a reading about here. Okay. So this might be about 20%. That's a low reading. So. Uh, this is telling me there's not much energy on my going to Singapore. And uh, if it, but let's say theoretically I've got a high reading, say up 80%. That would be an excellent reading. That would mean that that decision, that action, is aligned with my spirit. Okay. So for the sake of demonstrating this particular process, the wisdom cycle, let's imagine in this case I've gotten a high reading. Okay. After you've checked the energy, the second thing you need to do is to take action. Okay? You've got to do something with this, with this intuition. If you don't listen to it, if you don't take action, then 
it's, it's, a, it's pointless. It doesn't develop. As you listen to it, you, the, it changes the, changes the physiology of your brain. I can tell you this from, from my experience of you having used it. It changes the way your brain functions. And it also activates particular spiritual processes. And you get help from spiritual guidance. Okay? So you take action. Let's say in this case I've decided to go to Singapore, so I book a ticket. There's a concrete action that I've taken. Okay. Now, what's the third process? What's the third step? The third step is to let go. Let go just means just release the outcome. Okay? You may you've taken the action or you uh, booking booking the ticket in this case. Just let go and let it unfold as it will. Okay? There's no point worrying about it. And if you worry about it too much, if you get too attached to it, then you start to activate your own issues, your own ego comes into play. Okay? You can't be relaxed, you can't be present, which is really important for keeping your eye on your intuition. Okay? So, third step is letting go. And uh, then we need to move on. Okay? Now, the fourth step is simply to observe. Observe the result that you get. So I go to Singapore, I do the workshop, uh, I do the talking. Did it go well? Yes, no, why? Why not? And um, this is where you get to evaluate, to um, come into a closer understanding of what, what you did right and wrong. Okay? Now observe doesn't mean you have an emotional reaction. Observe means you're, you're still detached. You don't say, oh my God, I'm hopeless. Look at what, look what I did. I couldn't. I can't do it right. I give up. That would be putting too much emotional energy into the outcome. If you fail, you observe it. Okay? Even if you're successful, you, the, the excitement will build, but you don't want to become too attached to that, that success, even though it's important to understand it. Okay? There's a distinction between getting excited or following your excitement and getting overly attached at the level of ego to what you're trying to do, or what you've done. We don't want to get too ego-centered. Okay. And uh, we move up to the, the next level, okay, or the next step of the, the process. And um, this is to listen to your guidance, okay? So, also involves um, evaluate, forgive my spelling, and to listen to your guidance. Again, we're continuing the process of uh, trying to understand what's right and what's wrong. Guidance, though, is listening to spirit. Okay, or listening to your intuition. Okay, making sure that you're um, you're continuing to engage engage in that intelligence as you as you move through the process. It's really important. Okay, you're still using the the, um, the intuitive mind. You can use your intellect and analytical mind as well, no problem. But make sure you listen to your feelings and use some of these particular processes, the intuitive processes, as you go along. Okay, and what's the last step in the process? Well. The last step is to, to learn and integrate. Okay, uh, so integration is, a, is basically a subconscious process. It, it's what happens within, deep within your mind. Um, the belief structures that exist in there, the things that you think about yourself and your life. Um, your worldview. This will start to change gradually as you listen to your guidance. So you, you've had the courage to follow your, your intuition to go to Singapore, or I have in this case theoretically, to go to Singapore. And my spirit will grow slightly. My belief structures, my doubt will start to disappear or to, to reduce. And my belief in myself and my spirit will strengthen. This is the integration process. Okay? You can't really control this. All you can do is follow the guides, and this happens as you relax into the process. Okay, it's unconscious, basically. You can learn, though, also at the conscious level, because you reflect and analyze. Okay, but the, the deeper part of the mind will work. That's all. Okay, so this is the uh, the wisdom cycle, and as you go through, you can go back to the first step again. Okay, so I'm, I've gone to Singapore. Um, uh, what's the next step in this particular process? Maybe there's a bigger picture. Maybe I'm trying to build a career. Um, as a speaker and a writer, which I am, by the way. Um, what's the next step in this process? Check the energy, ask, ask a question, check the energy, take an action, let go, observe, evaluate, check your guidance, and learn and integrate. And it keeps going around. Maybe not in this exact um, order all the time, but this is a very good way to practice. Okay? It will help you to develop your own 
integrated intelligence, as I call it. Okay, I hope you learned something uh, from today's little uh, talk. See you next time.